A lot of times people don't talk enough about finances, and I believe it's one of the top three reasons people, you know, end up in fights and end up getting divorced because they're not on the same page. A lot of times one person just has the habit of they're in charge of all the bills. You know, they do everything and the other person comes in and says, I have no idea. I don't know what we have. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if anything's been paid because they weren't involved. So taking those steps to talk about how are we going to pay this? In what instances are we going to take out a HELOC? In what instances are we going to look to refinance? Would we take money out on a cash refinance? So there's so many things that can be involved within that discussion to plan for the worst case scenario, but have that as your security in case it does go bad. I think the most important piece here is that it's advice for anyone. It's not advice for people going through divorce. I mean, it can be, but I think it's anybody who owns property with another person should have some things in place to make sure that, again, worst case scenario, right? It's not always just divorce to say, I want to make sure that stuff is protected in those cases. 